Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're at 1 Samuel 4, chapter 14. We're looking at verses 24 through 35. Let's read it straight out. And the men of Israel were distressed that day, for Saul had placed the people under oath, saying, Cursed is the man who eats any food until evening before I have taken vengeance on my enemies. So none of the people tasted food. Now all the people of the land came to a forest, and there was honey on the ground. And when the people had come into the woods, there was the honey dripping. But no one put his hand to his mouth, for the people feared the oath. But Jonathan had not heard his father charge the people with the oath. Therefore he stretched out the end of the rod that was in his hand and dipped it in a honeycomb and put his hand to his mouth and his countenance brightened. Then one of the people said, Your father strictly charged the people with an oath, saying, Cursed is the man who eats food this day. And the people were faint. But Jonathan said, My father has troubled the land. Look now how my countenance has brightened because I tasted a little of this honey. How much better if the people had eaten freely today of the spoil of their enemies which they found. For now would there not have been a much greater slaughter among the Philistines? Now they had driven back the Philistines that day from Michmash to Agilon, so the people were very faint. And the people rushed on the spoil and took sheep and oxen and calves and slaughtered them on the ground, and the people ate them with the blood. Then they told Saul, saying, Look, the people are sinning against the Lord by eating the blood. So he said, You have dealt treacherously. Roll a large stone to me this day. Then Saul said, Disperse yourselves among the people and say to them, Bring me here every man's ox and every man's sheep, slaughter them here and eat, and do not sin against the Lord by eating with the blood. So every one of the people brought his ox with him that night and slaughtered it there. Then Saul built an altar to the Lord, and this was the first altar that he built to the Lord. So quickly, just a couple of bits here. Uh, Why this rash oath? It's not Mr. Humbleness and humility here. And notice what he says here about the battle, whereas Jonathan the other morning said, Look, the Lord has delivered them into the hand of Israel. Notice uh, what he says. Cursed is the man who eats any food until evening before I have taken vengeance on my enemies. Me, Saul, my enemies. Well, yes, they're Saul's enemies, but they're the enemies not of, of just Saul. They're the enemies of all of God's people. So Saul's kind of making this a personal thing. Jonathan is, is seeing it on the big picture. And then notice that they can't eat until evening. Of course, from Hebrews, uh, compute the day from sundown to sundown. So this whole day they're doing battle, no stopping for any kind of food replenishment. So the people are faint. They come upon the honey. Jonathan takes his honey. Then he finds out there's some crazy oath, and he just says, well, this was not a good idea. So then when you get to the end of the day, the people are are just so hungry that they're breaking the, the kind of restrictions. They're not supposed to eat animals with the blood. So they've got to stop and sort all that out. That's just a problem. And Saul just made a mistake here along the way. And he put everybody under oath. There's no reason for that, but that was kind of a personal thing, I think, for, for Saul. Jonathan's got the better plan, doesn't he? This is for Israel. It's not for me. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, help us to see the bigger picture. Help us to always remember it's not about us. It's about you. It's about your things. Give wisdom to your people. Help us to avoid rash oaths like Saul. And Lord, we just look to you. Be the leader of your people. Help us to be be wary, to be careful about human leaders and to make sure that you are truly leading. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. So it's not my vengeance. Vengeance is mine, says the Lord. It's, It's never for you and me. We let God deal with those things. God be with you today in all that you do.